is going on you guys it's your boy what i'm here welcome back to some more witch on the holy night i know it's been a while since i've last uploaded this so let's just get right into it shall we gotta hurry and beat this man because Tsukihime drops at the end of this month i can't be it can't be slacking so here we go let's do it god it's actually been a minute so i don't remember what's happening uh yeah aoko went out yeah okay that's all i remember <laughs> So, uh, oh yeah, because they, they ended up finding uh, Toko's body. Okay, I remember that. They found Toko's body. Okay, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. All right. Those were Alzaki's last words. After shutting her, oh no, because yeah, then she, she locked herself up. Okay, okay, I'm remembering, I'm remembering, I'm remembering. After shutting her in the cellar and locking it from the outside with a padlock, we finally breathed a sigh of relief. I... Oh shit. Uh let's go with I'm not sure about that. Hmm. Maybe Alco wasn't the murderer. I bet you if I pick this one, it's gonna get lead to a bad end, but we'll leave that for later. I wasn't so sure about that. Hmm. Ah, now we can finally get some sleep. Good night, everyone. Ritsuka disappeared up the West Wing stairs. Oh, yeah, because I'm just not remember. Um, Father Airy, he laughed. He got strung up like a, like a bug in a web. And then because of that, uh, Yuika, Yuka, she ended up laughing because of that. So she's also out of the out of the game now. I'm gonna get some rest too. Shizuki-kun wa Eiri Shinpu ni atemate ita heya o tsukatte. Yo ga akeru made Shizuki-kun no heya wa tsukaenai kara. Shizuki, your room's out of bounds until morning, so take the room wanted, uh, you wanted to give to Father Eiri. Ah, so datta. Arigato, Alice. Right. Thanks, Alice. Miss Kuonji and Shizuki retired to their respective rooms. It was just us left. I must have the courage to look at Tsukiji. Kumari, Kumari, got a minute? Tsukiji, skoshi dake hanasanai. Tsukiji, can I talk to you? Okay, they said this at the same time, so. Just imagine they said it at the same time. There it is. See, told you. Uh, we smiled at each other. We both had the same idea, apparently. Hold on. There we go. I think I cleared my throat out. Things had really gone out of hand tonight. It was an ungodly hour. The storms raging outside seemed to per, uh, to portend the end of the world. Portend. Never heard of that word before. If we laugh, we die. And yet here I am with the guy I've had a crush on for three years. <laughs> I'm gonna have some tea. You want some? Coffee. I'll take a coffee. Black, no sugar. <laughs> Very badass. Sweet enough already for you. That sounded a little sarcastic, but I know he didn't mean it in that way. Wanna talk about person A? Oh, yep. Still haven't figured that out yet. You don't think it's 100 percent Ozaki, do you? He passed me a coffee, and I slowly brought it to my mouth before taking a sip. He was right. I didn't. We were both on the same page. Signs point to Aozaki, but you can't really read Suka and Suzuki either. The only people we can really trust are Miss Kuonji and each other. I mean, we've all been together since the start. 
クオンジは信用できねえだろ。うん。あらのばクオンジ。あいつ、基本的にプロイトやらの味方じゃねえか。Feels to me more she's like on the p l o y side. そうなの確かにずっと中立っぽい態度だったけど。根拠は Really? She seems natural to me, or neutral to me. Got anything to back that up? She doesn't seem interested in finding the killer. For one, oh, I know.、Uh, this is just a hunch. But I feel like she's helping them somehow. So, I saw the show. Puro it, the Kuonji san no mochimono nandashi. もう人物 A はプロイが化けてるんだしだから中立だったんじゃない It's possible. The ploy belongs to her, and the killer's a ploy in disguise. Maybe that's why she's neutral. いや、そっちじゃない。今動いているプロイにじゃなくて、使ったやつに対してだよ。I don't mean she's helping the ploy. I mean the person using it. だってあいつ、怒ってなかっただろ。自分の持ち物が勝手に使われたっていうのに。For a start, she didn't seem mad at all about someone、uh, using her ploy like that. Oh. Oh. He was right. Hold on. That's your tail, dude. That's your tail. <laughs> He was right. Does that mean Miss Kuonji knew who the killer was? She ran out to her mother. Daga. I don't think she's necessarily knows. Still, she's definitely hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. She d e f i t e l y hiding something. Maybe it's like a magic sword. Hora, Yoto to Ka, Meto to Kade, Mochimonga, Mochinusho, Era, but the Yujanego. On the Kanjitana. You know, not just anyone can wield it, only the chosen one. Could a thing really choose who it uses it, or who uses it? If so, that, did that mean Miss Kuonja was supporting? No, empathetic to it? Shikashi. That aside, I'm、oh, sorry. I'm 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 Not a good idea trusting anyone in a situation like this. Feels like the person you trust the most will stab you in the back. So, ne? Utaga te kakaru gura ga chow doi. I guess you're right. We should all be wary of everyone. So, you koto. Kono jiken de ichiban shin yo shcha nara ne no a jibunda. だから常に客観的に監視している相棒がいないと無実が証明できない。Sorry, my lips are dry as shit for some reason. Exactly. We can only trust ourselves. That's why we'll need someone to keep an eye on us, objectively. リデルのやつが二人一組で行動しようって言い出したのはそのあたりも含めてだろうよ。日清同体、スイーツハーツとはよく言ったもんだ。That's probably why Riddell wanted us to pair up too. Two minds, one body. Kind of appropriate given we're dealing with sweet hearts here. We put Riddell behind us. じゃあ、築地は誰が一番怪しいと思ってる So, who do you think is the most likely suspect at this point? 全員平等だぜ。怪しいってんなら。俺はまだ、時津のじいさんの死体が本物かどうかさえ
保留してるしな。I think we're all on equal ground. I still don't know if Yurihiko's body was the real deal or not. Aozaki got Jibun no hair or Kakushi da Kotomo. Aria Shin Hanni knew Maka Hamerare Tanjanai Katte or Motter. Ichiman no Kyotakio, Masaki ni Fujinikita Kekakamoshira. I think the killer tricked Aozaki into hiding whatever is in her room, too. Get rid of the biggest threat and all that. Aozaki got Hamerare Ta? You think she was framed? Ah. 事実上あの行動力の塊みたいな女が自分の部屋を隠すことで手一杯だっただろう。Yeah, she was too preoccupied with covering something up to think about anything else。それに妙なこと言ってたじゃねえか。青崎の姉貴がいつああなったか。くまりはどう思う<笑> ?Plus, she was saying some weird things. What do you think that business with Toko happened? I. Oh, shit. Between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. Between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. Between 6 p.m. and 8 a.m. Between 8 a.m. or 8 a.m. Damn it. P.m. and 10 p.m. Between 10 p.m. and midnight. Well. Huh, if we really think about this. Maybe Aoko is the killer. Killer. Because if nobody knew Toko was there, and yeah, because not everybody knew Toko was there. And of course, yeah, the way she acted when, you know, Sojuro revealed that, yeah, he, that he、um, invited Toko, but nobody saw Toko come in. You know, nobody was like, hey, here's the. The green hair lady, so she was probably the green hair lady, the green, the lady in the green dress. You know, I, I never I didn't see anybody in that. Obviously, we recall、um, Kumari, she saw、uh, the old man, she saw the old man like early in the beginning of the、uh, beginning of the、uh, story, and that was before he died. So it had to be between that time he died and then when she died, so it had to be like 2 p.m. before, right. Hmm. Because she, then she would have already known that Toko was there, you know? And of course, she just had to play the act of like, oh, Soldier, are you invited my sister? <laughs> and of course, guess what happened? Toko was dead in Aoko's room. So it's gotta be, I gotta, it's gotta be like early, man. Because we would have seen Toko way early in the story, you know, had we known. So it had to be, it had to be her, it had to be Yurihiko first, then Toko, and then、uh, Mr. Yamashiro. So it had to be, or like you could switch those two.、Um, so I'm gonna go with two and four. And I don't think she was the first, I think she was the second. Oh, she could be the first though, yeah. Because Yurihiko was found in Sojiro's room. And he was already dead, so yeah, she could have been the first or the second, who knows? So, yeah, all right, okay. I think Toko Ozaki was the first victim. Ah, so kangai naito. Aozaki no koto wa okashi. Toko has,、uh, has to have been the first. Otherwise, Ozaki wouldn't have acted so weird. Aozaki wa, gozen chu wa machi de kai mono o shite ita. Aozaki ane wa, aitsu ga hea o lusu ni shite iru aida. クマリたちを連れて一息ついて部屋に戻るまでの間に殺されたと見るべきだろう。アザキ was out shopping all morning. Her big sister must have been killed sometime after she left, but before she brought you all here and went back into her room. I mean, another thing that could have happened was like when the person, the killer, when they broke in. They probably would have gotten Toko, and obviously, when they were searching for Beowulf, for Beo, Alko walked into her room, must have probably not tried to laugh, you know, her heart out, because she saw her sister in that, you know, and then heard that position she was found in. And obviously, she tried to hide it. Because, yeah, it would make sense that the, the reaction she got from Sojiro being like, hey, you moron, you invited my sister? Did you forget what was happening between her and us? 
So it makes sense that she could that could have been a real reaction. And then when they were searching for Beowulf, she walked into her room and saw her, you know, already dead. So that that could be that could be another another way of looking at it too. But who knows? I passed out Zaki in the hallway on the second floor around 3.30. Toka must have been drowning herself in oldies right, then, uh, right around then. Well, until we come up with any real conclusions, this is all just speculation. I think the real problem isn't figuring out when the murder was committed, but how. Hmm. It takes a serious sense of humor to make someone like Mr. Yamashiro or Father Eri to laugh out loud. Other factors like time frame being equal. Just having a sense of humor excludes some people right off the bat, like Sojiro, Beyo, and Kinomi. Kinomi's dead, so. Tsukiji had latched onto something big. Why hadn't anyone else thought of that? Hosuke's jokes only made people cringe. Bale didn't, uh, didn't even understand the concept of humor. As for Suzuki, I meant planks of wood that got jokes quicker. <laughs> Damn. That's funny. Our discussion carried until... Until uh, nearly 3 a.m. Okay, 3 a.m. We'll keep that. I yawned. I was no I was by no means relaxed, just exhausted. After everything that happened, I'd be surprised if anyone had any real energy left. Hmm. It's getting kinda late. We should probably get some sleep. Are you gonna rest? I can crash on the sofa just to be safe. And she's like Sleep with me. <laughs> he was clearly on guard for sweethearts disguised as Ozaki, or someone else. I yawned again. As long as I lock the door, I won't be able to get to sleep. No help in it then. As long as I lock the door, but won't be but I won't be able to sleep. You can lock the door and still sleep. You're not gonna fucking fall asleep on your trek back to your bed, what? Oh shit. Uh no help in it then. Uh, well, shit. Okay, we're gonna do this real quick. Uh, shit, how do I save? No, oh, I wanna save. Don't do this to me. No, I wanna like save real quick. I don't wanna like, I don't wanna get like a bad ending and I have to like skip this entire or to just get to this decision again. Uh, we'll just go with no help in it then. If, that, if that's how it has to be, then there's no help in it now. Yeah, I, I guess it's the best option for now. Yeah, so far, I'll cut it there. How do I turn off? Oh, what the hell? Okay. Hold on, I'm like learning about this game again. We good? Okay. Yeah, I guess this is the best option for now. I mean, I have lots of brothers, so I'm used to sleeping in the same room as boys. It's fine. Completely fine. <laughs> Perfect. I'll take the sofa then. Yeah, I'm pretty exhausted myself. Hopefully I can get some rest if I know if I know you're nearby. 
Tsukiji quickly fell asleep after raising his hand to wave goodnight. I looked at him all wrapped up in a blanket. Oh, come on. Seeing him fall asleep so quickly helped me feel relaxed, too. I definitely didn't want to get excited in a situation like this. Plus, I was beat. I didn't have any pajamas and didn't feel like changing anyway. For comfort, I did remove my wallet and card case from my pockets and placed them on the table before sliding under a blanket fully clothed. I couldn't fall asleep as fast as Tsukiji, but I could feel myself drifting off already into a deep, deep sleep. Did I just hear laughter next to me? I woke up to the sound of birds chirping. Oh, it's morning. The clock read half past five. The sun was beginning to peak over the horizon. My ability to rise early was one of my few strong points, so I must have been really exhausted. I looked around the room, my vision blurry. Oh, Tsukiji? I went to sleep in the same room as him. Huh? I finally realized that he wasn't where I last seen him. There was nobody on the sofa, just his clothes. They were laid out neatly, like they were on display. It was like he shrunk so small he disappeared, or melted, so or melted away somewhere. Maybe he wanted to die by completely vanishing. Oh, so okay, we heard Tsukiji laugh. Tsukiji? I tried touching his clothes. I touched his blanket and the sofa. His warmth had long since faded. My card case had fallen around where his hand must have been. I get I could guess what happened. He never really fell asleep. He pretended to, so I relaxed. Then he stayed up to watch over me all night. This was a locked room murder. It was clear that uh, what the murder weapon is, and I was finally close to figuring out who the killer was. I packed up my card case and left the room feeling empty inside. I'm so sorry, Tsukiji. As Ozaki's friend, of course you'd laugh at that photo. It was quiet. The air was crisp. My mind was so blank I, I almost laughed. Tsukiji's room was clean and tidy, while the Aries room was clean and tidy. Ritsuka's room was clean and tidy. Fuck, do we get a bad ending? Uh, anyone alive out there? I yelled into the void of the West Wing, but no one responded. My hunch was spot on. Something was wrong. The mansion was now the cleanest, quietest place in all of Misaki. It was over. I went down to the basement where Ozaki was confined, down the narrow staircase of the door. The padlock had been broken clean off from the outside. Oh well. Inside the tiny cellar, I saw a single dead body, lying prone. The beautiful long hair was all I needed to know who it was. Ozaki. She wasn't breathing. She hadn't been the killer. It was unclear what time she was murdered. Whoever the killer was broke the lock, made Ozaki laugh. Nonchalantly went upstairs and cut off my means of escape. They were going to show up soon. They must have been hiding somewhere waiting for me to come down into the basement. The stairs were the only way out. If the killer followed me down here, I was trapped. Oh. Oh well, doesn't matter anymore. I was at a dead end. Game over. Victory to the real killer. My thoughts were interrupted by the sound of footsteps. The footsteps of death. Damn it, I fucking knew that was going to be a bad ending. Son of a bitch, I knew that was going to be a bad ending. 
fucking knew it. I knew that was going to be a bad ending, man. I knew it was going to be a bad ending. All right, here we go. Oh, so no, it automatically saves for me here. Okay, cool. Hold on, I pressed square and that was... Huh. I didn't know that. I've been playing this game for how long? I never knew if I pressed square that happened. <laughs> Would you look at that? All right. Something told me to fucking do the first one, but I didn't. All right, decision T, again. As long as I lock the door, I won't be able to sleep. Well, we didn't get to see who the killer was last time. We saw who the killer was in one of the bad endings. It should be safe as long as the door is locked, but we still have other, other things to worry about. We made it this far, only a little longer to go. You know, Tsukiji, you're the only one who's said to not trust anybody. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a suspect too. I guess I don't need to worry about you, huh? Tsukiji so turned to the door, ready to leave. I tried to say something. This doesn't have anything to do with anything, but... Even though it's been, you know, a rough day, you seem, I, I don't know, content? What the hell was I saying? I was just embarrassing myself. We've all been there. <laughs> People died, and I almost joined them. Rough day is putting it lightly. Luckily, he took my question seriously. But I guess, in a way, it's been kind of fun. You feel the same, don't you, Kumari? Dude, what? She's like, fuck no, dude. <laughs> I came here for a, a nice little birthday party and maybe a sleepover, and everybody I know is getting murdered. <laughs> His considerate reply was so reassuring. I almost forgot my anxiety. Well, that's a surprise. I thought you looked down on this sort of thing. Well, you were wrong then. I love this kind of chaos. I don't take life too seriously. For real? Well, you just blew my mind. I was being serious. It reminded me of the time I first realized I'd fallen for him. Tsukiji was an amazing person, but he was squandering his potential. He didn't want glory or to move up in the world. It felt like such a waste of human capital. I could never do that. How long had I been watching him, wanting to kick his butt into gear? Look, I know this is pro the probably isn't the time, but yo, you want to... What's up? You want to just date, bro? We'll just do it. You know, me and you. There's nothing stopping us. <laughs> but you're not exactly a people person sometimes. And yet, you talk to me. Why is that? Huh? Hmm? Well, I mean, you worked your ass off for six years without relying once on your parents, teachers, or anyone else. Dumbfounded. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you in the morning down in the foyer. And with that, the room went quiet again. For some reason, 
I felt a tight squeezing sensation in my chest. That's a heart attack. Anyway, it's been kind of fun. You feel the same, don't you, Kumari? So you what? Man, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say there. <laughs> Sukiji's words replayed themselves over and over in my head. Yeah, he was right. Maybe it had been fun. I woke up to the sound of birds chirping. Ugh, it's morning? Man, we're getting a bit of sense of deja vu, huh? <laughs> the clock read half past five. The sun was beginning to peak over the horizon. My ability to rise early was one of my few strong points, so I must have been really exhausted. I foggily examined my wrinkled clothes in the mirror. My body was still asleep. I was too tired to make tea, so I just grabbed my wallet and card case off the table. The card case contained my commuter pass and some pictures I took each year. Nah, that's crazy, dog. What? I could have not expected to see this. What the hell? First of all, that's a high schooler game, Nasu. What are you doing, you creep? That's a high schooler. What the hell? That's crazy. We're going to have to screenshot that one real quick. <laughs> that might be my new thumbnail. Who knows? <laughs> that might have to be the new thumbnail. Had a rare shot of Ozaki making a fool of herself at this, at this year's school festival. She either drank champagne thinking it was a soft drink. Or someone slipped alcohol into the juice cocktail. Next thing I know, she's all hyper, yelling about wearing someone else's clothes. I got a great shot of her from my disposable camera. I love that photo so much I carry it with me in my card case everywhere I go. Whenever I felt down, it always cheered me up to look at it and remember how adorable Azaki could be. It was a side of herself that no one who knew her would ever expect, especially her comedic side. Are they? Huh? Wait a second. Did I just think some? Did I just think something I really shouldn't have? That would be incredibly bad to bring up now. What? So da. All right. Where is everyone? I rifle through my overnight bag to see if anything might be of use. Turns out the stuff I brought to cook was worth bringing. I hovered over the walk or the cleaver, ultimately deciding to take the walk with me. First of all, hold on, you had a cleaver on you and you didn't decide to take that for at least some protection? Like, are we serious? I would have done that. I would have had the cleaver in one hand and the walk in the other, dude. Use one as you know my, my offense and then use the other one as my shield, you know, or bait him on the side of the head and then, you know, jab him in the neck <laughs> with the cleaver. Come on now. Do none of these people have like survivors in like, you know, survivor's instinct or something like that? Like, come on, dude. I would have fucking carried that walk with me the entire I would have wore that shit like Raiden, bro, for Mortal Kombat. Just had that shit on my head all fucking day. Especially if like, okay, went into everybody's room, gone. Went to Ozaki's room or the cellar, she's dead. Guess what? I got this to protect me, dog. I got my fucking walk on my head. So let that killer come fuck with me, bro. I'm going to slap him on the side of the forehead with this thing. <laughs> That's crazy. You had two weapons on you, and you decided to not use them. Okay. I went into the hallway. The air was slightly cooler than, the inside, than inside the guest room. Sounds had fallen over the mansion once again. There was no sound. No sign of life. It was that the storm never happened. Tsukiji's room was empty. Suzuki wasn't in Father Eri's room. Nobody was in Ritsuka's room either. Miss Kuonji? 
I called out to the void of the west wing, but got no response. I was alone. I headed down to the basement where Ozaki was confined. Down a narrow scare staircase, <laughs> staircase to a door. Okay, so we're we're okay. We okay. This time she has the walk as a weapon. Okay, remember that. I remember she could have had that in the other ending, but you know, you had to have a bad ending somewhere. <laughs> the padlock had been broken clean off from the outside. Ozaki. Ozaki. I braced myself for red or for whatever was to come and opened the door. I mean, she's just gonna be alive there for some reason. Okay, no, she's actually dead this time. Inside the cellar, I saw a dead body lying face down. The beautiful long hair was all I needed to know who it was. Elzaki. He wasn't breathing. She scrawled something with her left hand in her final or her last moments. It was a dying message written in blood. I could feel the disdain in the words. Uh, told you so. Well, I can't read Japanese. He sure did. Ozaki wasn't the killer. It was clear when she was murdered. But whoever the killer was broke the lock, made her laugh, nonchalantly went upstairs and... Okay, we're in this situation again, but this time we got the walk. It, it, what, she just fucking runs this time? She doesn't... You could have done that the other ending. Just run. What? What? A game? Okay. <laughs> I tried to control my breathing and my racing mind. Everyone was dead. Everyone was dead. Probably. Only the killer and I were left. But you had the walk. But the sun was already up. Wait. Not completely. If the rule said it ended in the morning, then the game wasn't over yet. I had to get out of here now and figure who the killer was, or who the killer is. There was no winning this unless I did something. Everyone was dead. No turning back now. I. Oh fuck. Okay, decision you. Should keep running until morning? Should try to guess who the killer is. Well... Let's 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 try to figure out who the killer is. I thought I should try to deduce who the killer is. <sighs> okay, calm down. Everything should be in order. I control my breathing and begin to organize the facts in my head. I didn't have a decisive answer to the killer's motives method uh, to the killer's motives, motive, method, or identity. Damn, I don't know why I struggled through that. There was only one thing I knew for sure. Tsukiji has said it many times. It was not about who committed the murders, but who but rather who could have committed the murders. The first murder, Tokisu's capture and death by explosion. We can exclude the following suspects, me. Ms. Kuwonji, Suzuki, or I mean, uh, uh, Tsukiji, Kosuke, Father Eri, and Sister Yuka. The second murder, Mr. Yamashiro's fabulous f uh, funeral. Impossible to rule out any suspects. At a stretch, we could maybe exclude Ms. Kuwonji. We don't know when Mr. Yamashiro was killed, because we were all looking around after Tokisu's murder. It's unlikely the murder was committed within that 10 minute gap, but we couldn't rule it out completely. Yeah, Riddell probably had the best death in this thing. This shit was so funny. I loved how she came back. Just, just sheer, sheer willpower. She was like, I'm not dying. <laughs> the third murder, Hosuke and Riddell. Who cares? Damn, okay. Is that how you feel, little lady? Is that how you feel? Yeah, let me, let me adjust because I'm realizing I'm like pushing myself out of my camera range. There we go. Push myself up just a bit. The fourth murder, Bayo. It couldn't have been me because I didn't search for Ozaki's sister, 
Neither could have been Tsukiji, Suzuki, or Ritsuka. The fifth murder, Father Aries Webb. We're in the foyer, so we couldn't. It couldn't have been me, Tsukiji, Ritsuka, or Miss Kawonji. The sixth murder, the Yuka statue. This one didn't matter either. Damn. <laughs> oh no, my girl. The seventh murder. The Elder Alzaki's death by alcohol poisoning and a shot liver. This might actually have been the first murder in the timeline. We could exclude. Maybe only Miss Kuonji, barely. That's everything I knew. And it came down to the simple process of elimination. Who was the invisible killer who made everyone laugh? I think the killer must be... Oh, I get to choose? That's just... Okay. Damn, Father Aries just straight up cover it. Okay, so she's dead. I guess she was technically alive. Alive, dead. Dead, dead. Alive, dead, dead, dead. Nor could be alive. And I guess everybody's dead, right? Dead. I mean, okay, we gotta, we gotta rule out people who we actually saw die, so... Dead, 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 dead. Dead? Maybe? Dead, dead, dead. So those are the ones we saw who have actual uh, deaths that we've seen. God damn, I feel bad for Alko. She got stabbed more times than I think anybody in this fucking series. Because like when we first got our first bad ending, it was like, hey, there she is. She's dead. <laughs> I think the murder. What if we? What if we just do something crazy? We pick Kumbari. Be some crazy. Because remember. The Sweets Hearts doesn't know it's Sweets Hearts. So it could have been Kumari the entire time. We don't know. So I'm going to go with Kumari. It could either be... Obviously, it could be Alice. It could be uh, Suzuki because obviously that's her ploy. She's obviously going to know how to use it. So uh, she could be a viable suspect. Tsukiji, the way, not Tsukiji, Suzuki, the way he said it so nonchalantly about Tokisu's death is like, okay, kind of leading towards killer. Obviously, we have Ritsuka, because she was like, yo, we can make a murder mystery out of this. Beowulf didn't give two shits. Father Eri and sister Yuka didn't give two shits. My man, he caught a stray for no reason. <laughs> he, he really did. I think, you know what? We go with Kumari. Dame, Konkyo ga usui. Kore de steki stara, watashi ga auto da. It's no use. That's not enough evidence. If I guess wrong, I'm done for. I think it's you. I didn't know who the killer was. I think it's you. It was you, little lady. But we're the only ones left in the mansion. We made a random guess and ended up being eliminated. I was finished. In that case, Maybe I should just make a run for it and win the game that way. It was the boy Suzuki. Oh, fuck. No, okay. Okay, I, I, I could do it right now, but no, we, we gotta we gotta do that later. We gotta get the bad ending here. Fuck, are they all bad endings? Okay, it was the boy. I uh, fucking the... I knew it because of the way he nonchalantly, like, the the way he just like exclaimed fucking Tokisu's death. It was just so casual. Like, just hey, guess what? He's dead in my room. So it was him. You. A shadowy figure crept up behind me. It raised his hand as if to say hello. <laughs> I all I fucking hate myself because we saw that in the bad ending. In one of the bad endings, we saw there was fuck. I should have known. I should have known it was it was uh Suzu I must have Tsukiji. I should have known it was Suzuki because we saw him in one of the bad endings. We saw him wearing the exact same getup in the bad ending. In one of the uh in the second bad ending that we got. Or was it the first? We saw him dressed like this. I fucking knew it should have been him. Damn it. Damn it.
Oh, okay. We'll we'll get him. We'll get him when we have to read pick him again. I'm an alien from outer space, Earth creature. The primitive the primitive directness of his greeting caught me off guard. Suzuki? You're the killer? Yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. Uh, I mean, you can cut off that voice now. Damn, she just slapped that shit out of his face. I struggled to inject the calm into my voice and to keep my arms and legs from shaking. That voice was really something. So much that I would, that was more concerned with making a stop than who done it or how done it. We are Martians. I don't care. Look, just explain what's going on already. I already laughed, so I'm gonna die. I'd at least like to know what's going on before I do. Sorry, but I can't do that. I can only discuss with my own situation. What was that supposed to mean? Suzuki can only talk to him, uh, talk about it himself. Does that mean there was someone else? Kumari, you've got to understand, Kumari. Can you imagine a whole year being picked on again and again for having no sense of humor? How it feels for a man to muster up the courage to liven up the party mood, only to be shot down? I know how it feels to want to punch you right now. I don't think, I don't even want to think about this anymore. But did he seriously do all this to prove he had a sense of humor? I'd say he failed the moment he put on that ridiculous disguise, but was that any reason to help a murderer? The only people who laugh at something like that are Aozaki and Ms. Kuonji. No one else on this planet would. Hmm. No one but you. Oh. I'm gonna hit you. I'm sorry. Never mind. So, it was Aozaki's photo that made Tsukiji and others laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, that was the ace up my sleeve. And a treat for me too. I think it was a treat for all of us. <laughs> I think it was a treat for all of us degenerates here. <laughs> Look, I know what I said earlier, but still. Any of the guys who knew Ozaki would uh, would laugh at that picture of her, particularly Mr. Amashiro, uh, Tsukiji, and Father Eri. So that means the killer must be. Oh, we're fading out. Let's say the game has ended. I tried to speak, but the words didn't come out. I played right into Sweetheart's hands. The killer, Suzuki, was the last person left standing. While I failed to guess correctly and just stood there, mind blank. I was just one step away. I almost figured it out. If I just focused more in the evening and thought through uh, through a bit more. Ooh, we got a bad end. There we go. We got another bad end. Okay, so I guess this time we get to pick uh, Suzuki. Oh shit, okay, well. I'm gonna have to skip through this one quite a bit. Yeah, let me just mash these. Yeah. I could just skip this, right? Let's just do that. Okay. 
Well, we could do the keep running. That might be another dude. Fuck. Okay, I, uh, we'll do the we'll do the Suzuki one. I still got a lot of time left. We'll do this. We'll pick Suzuki this time, and then um, actually, can I save this? Oh, okay. Hopefully that'll actually let me. What's it called? Huh? Yeah, look at all these playthroughs, bro. Damn. That's when I first started, bro. 12 18 2022 of this game. And I've been loving every second of it. Okay. I'll try to guess who the killer is. So this time we're going to pick Suzuki. Let's see what happens. Bam, 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 bam. We'll just skip to the next scene. Because we, we already read all this. So let's see what happens when we pick Suzuki. The homeboy is Sojiro. Is he gonna play the same this time? Alright, I didn't know who the killer was, but we were the only ones left in the mansion. We made a random guess and ended up being eliminated. I was finished. In that case, maybe we should just run for it and win the game that way. You. A shadow figure. Yeah, we cracked up on me. Says hello. Says hello. Okay, so she laughed. Yep, okay. I wonder what her death is. Okay, slap it out of his face, yep. Yeah. So wait, okay. I guess we didn't have enough evidence. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, no sense of humor. Shot down, punch in the face, help a murderer. Planet would, but she laughed, gonna hit you. Never mind. A photo. Ace up the sleeve. Those guys, killer must be. Try to speak, but no worth than come out. Okay. 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 So we got it. Okay. So I'm assuming they lead to all bad endings. I hope that doesn't have to go to towards the trophy because that would suck. That would actually kind of suck. Okay, here we go. We got enough time before we hit the one hour mark, so I think we could finish. I think this might be the last ending or like the last bit of this. Um, of the story, which is nice, because then we could start focusing on uh, wonderful world of ploys. And then when I get that done, we got the platinum, baby. There we go. Load again. Lock the door. Okay, well, sorry guys, have to see this for the third time. <laughs> okay, let's go with decision you. Should keep running until morning. I think it was be I think it would be best to run away until the morning. What? Huh? Something that felt off for a second there. If it was my decision, what if it was my decision was completely different from the words that came out of my mouth. No time for that. I have to get out of here. We sprint out the fucking building. The game would end if I just keep uh keep from getting caught until sunrise. As long as I survived, Sweet's hearts wouldn't win. The storm was over. If I could just make it to the city, everything would go back to normal. No way. I've been heading downhill all this time. So how did I end up behind the mansion? Ah. The ground distorted. My senses went haywire. The world crumbled. I must have done something wrong. Suddenly, a voice whispered into my ear. Congratulations on killing everyone. It was a voice of terror that I had never heard before. Yet, it sounded so familiar. Another bad end. Fuck! Did my guy actually have to figure out who the killer is? No way! Oh my god, we gotta. I gotta do this again. Still got time. We still got time. Okay, dude. I. Oh no. I don't want to keep going through this all over again, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. So yeah, with Sojiro. Fuck. Okay. 
Dude. Oh, no. That means one of them was the killer, but we don't know. It has to be Alice, right? Oh, Fuck. Okay. So, Kumari and Suzuki. Wait, congratulations on killing everyone. That ending doesn't make sense. So she ran away, but Sweethearts didn't let her run away. Makes sense, that's fine. But then she heard Suzuki's voice behind her. It says, congratulations on the kill. Either he's saying that himself or whatever sweet... I'm assuming Sweetheart's saying it. So it can't be... Obviously, it can't be Tokisu. It has to be the people that we didn't see die. Which is Alice. We've already deduced it wasn't Suzuki. It's not Kumari. So it's either Alice, maybe Tsukiji, or maybe Ritsuka. Because we've seen these people, we've seen them all die on screen, except for her, him, and her. Shit. Hmm. Because one of these is correct, but the killer can't kill himself, obviously. So again, we have to just take out the people we saw die on screen. I'm either going with Ritsuka or Alice, man. It could be Ritsuka. No, because... Never mind, never mind. I'm gonna go with Ritsuka this time. I'm gonna go with Ritsuka. We went. Not enough evidence. I don't. Huh. Yeah, I'm confused, man. Okay, we, got, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going, man. We gotta keep going. We, we gotta keep going. Oh, shit. We gotta keep going. There's somewhere to go with Alice. Oh my god. Like, I don't... Okay, it wasn't Alice. Sorry if I feel like I'm going through it, but it's like, I feel like those are the only two. Maybe it is Tsukiji. Hold on. Maybe it is the boy Tsukiji. Who knows? I bet you there's some of you watching this right now like, you idiot. It's it's this person. I don't, I don't know anymore. I don't know what you want me to say, dude. The problem is he's been with us the entire time, so it's like... Oh my lord, I don't... Well, it's time to go through all of them now, because I, I don't know anymore. I don't... Because now it's like I all the logic that I was going into it made sense of trying to like to like pick and choose what the killer was. Okay, so we, we picked Tsukiji, right? What about okay, it's not about who who committed it's who who could have committed the murders. Who could have committed the murders? Alright, who could have is the question. I don't, I honestly don't know him. Probably Beowulf, because he doesn't, remember, he doesn't have like a concept of humor. Oh, fuck, I, I, I don't know anymore. I don't know, it's like legit, I have to go through everybody. Alright, 
All right, Bayo. Oh my lord. Okay. Okay. Well. All right. All right. Well, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're doing. Bam, bam. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go down the line. We're just gonna go down the line. We're just gonna go down the line. Cause I, I just, I don't know anymore. Cause I honestly don't know anymore. Yep. Bro, what type of Twilight Zone shit is this, man? Like, what the fuck? Okay. Hosuke at this time that would be crazy are you serious right now game are you like legit are you joshing me right now dude yeah this, this is what we're doing ladies and gentlemen this is what this is what we're doing this is what we're doing man because again i just i don't know who would because i, I feel like I feel like I did the right thing in like trying to deduce who would who it would be. But it seems like that's not the case anymore. Okay, we did everybody, we got Beowulf, so bad end. E. A sport. It's in the game. Again, I, I, I don't. Because we've already seen these people die, so I don't know. Watch it be Riddell. Watch it be her. Watch it be her. It, okay, it has bye to be Riddell. It has so, to be Riddell. If not, uh, we're going through the same tactic again. Sorry. I'm just picking everybody. Or should I just leave her for last and see? You know? <laughs> Alright, time to get the killer for like the 18th oh, time. Yeah, we, we just do these two guys here. Okay. I like how the song like cuts off. E. E. Watch it be him. Watch it be him. The biggest plot twist would be him. Okay, never mind. Bro, if it's not Riddell, then I legit don't know what to do. I might have to replay it from. I might have to replay it and follow some of the. I don't think I don't remember the decisions I made. And I might legit have to watch my own videos again just to see what decisions I made before leading up to this one. What? Oh no, okay. Okay, 
Well, um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, th I thought it was plausible with what I had going on there because it it, may, it would make sense if it would be either Tsukiji, Ritsuka, Alice, Kumari herself, and then, yeah, Alice, Tsukiji, Ritsuka, and then Kumari herself. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And we can't run away because we'll just get another bad ending. So somewhere along the line, there's a deviation that separates these, uh, that separates these decisions. Do you get what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I might have to play through. I might have to watch my shit again and like, see what, 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 uh, what went, what went. Yeah, cause I, I'm confused, man. That That's legit everybody. And it's like, there's not enough evidence. So I don't. Even though we saw fucking Suzuki, I don't, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. See, I'm, I'm gonna have to, uh, might have to play that on my own time. See what's going on, and then like stop it, and then be like, hey, here we go. So, hey, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I guess nobody was the murderer. <laughs> I guess nobody was the killer. So, um, hey, hey, you know what? Hey, the more I get to play, the more. Uh, I, you know, the more I enjoyed this, so I enjoy this. So let's see. Hopefully next time we can actually figure out who the real killer is, man. Cause, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little annoyed. That's like, really? Nobody, nobody, like they could have the biggest plot twist with it being Tokisu and like him framing his own murder and then silently killing off everybody else. That would make the most sense. But then it's like, they kind of reveal that it's, it's Sojiro, but then when you pick Sojiro, it's like, no, there's not enough evidence. And then he comes up behind you and then you die. So I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that they, they, they really, they really jumbled my brain here on this one. So I have to go back and like, see what decisions I need to make. I think I can just look it up online, but uh, yep. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. And if you did like comment and subscribe, it is your boy white album. I will see you guys next time.